everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Samantha. So I finally have another luxury review video for you guys. I know it's been a while and it is on the Coach Casey Crossbody Bag. This one I actually got in the pewter slash Aurora finish. I actually got it on sale and the original price is $4.25 Canadian dollars, but I got it on a discount which was $2.55 Canadian dollars. So I'm not sure if that was like the summer or spring summer sale, but I just happened to go on the website and it was on sale. Now this was only for the green one and for the pink ones. The other, I guess, more staple pieces like the black, whites, and all that kind of stuff will remain the original price, but I did get this one on sale. So this review will be really good for those who are looking for this bag in particular, and it will be a bonus if you are looking for the Aurora finish. I got this in June 2020, just so you guys get an idea of the whole pricing and availability and everything. And I will leave the link to this product in the description below. I will talk about the pros, cons, and tips that I have on this bag along with mod shots. Here are the mod shots and please keep in mind I am 5 foot 3. So in terms of the pros, this bag fits a ton. So there is a back pocket, and when you open it, there are a total of three different compartments where you can put your stuff. In the general area, there is also a zipper at the back here, and one slit here. Another pro is that this is actual leather, and it feels really soft to the touch. It's definitely really easy to use and open, and especially because the strap is the same leather, it's very soft. Another pro is that considering this is a coach bag, I really haven't shopped at coach in so long because the designs and everything just wasn't kind of my taste, but their newer designs and everything like this bag and the KC19, I believe, are so popular, and I think they did a really good job on these new bag releases. Another pro is that this can be worn on one shoulder, crossbody, and even just the top handle itself. The straps are totally removable and you can either keep it in the bag if you decide you want to take it out or you can leave it at home. For me, I haven't used the bag just the top handle yet because I do like to have a bag with me that I can throw on crossbody so that my hands are free. Another pro is that this bag is very comparable to the Pochette Métis by Louis Vuitton to get this bag at the price versus a Pochette Métis, which I believe is over $3,000. Probably. 4,000 now with all the price increases. I'm really not sure. I really haven't looked into that bag anymore once I got this bag. The last pro that I can think of is that it is very easy to use. The little turn lock here is really easy. You don't need two hands whatsoever. You open it, you grab everything you need, and you are able to just find your way and close it properly, and you don't have to worry about scratching the hardware and everything like that. For me, it's a bag that I just grab on the go, and I don't have to baby it too much. I just know that if I got this in the pink pochette metis, I would feel like I'd have to baby it because of the hardware that it has. You kind of have to clasp it down and make sure that it doesn't scratch the hardware plating and everything, so I do like this. And I also find that they paired it really well with this pewter finish hardware over the pink Aurora finish. I feel like with the gold, it might not look that well, but in silver, it'll make the bag look very babyish. Kind of like this bag, I would feel like, because it's so light pink and you have the little gold on it, it would make it look, I guess, a lot more girlier. So I do feel like this is a pretty good option, especially because of the lining as well. It just looks like a nice complete set. I feel like if it was any other hardware like gold or silver, you would have way too much coloring because the lining is this specific color. So moving into the cons, I find that there aren't too many and most of them really just exist because I have this pink Aurora finish. The first con is that the corners will wear and 
hair, it's not indestructible. Like, I have worn this already twice, and I am already sort of seeing a little bit of wear and tear on the corners. And I will show you guys close-ups, but it is not too bad, but it is now something that I have to be a little bit more aware of, especially if I'm wearing darker clothes. Now, I'm not a jean person. I don't really wear jeans, so I'm not sure how this will end up, if there would be any color transfer. That is also a con that I feel like I have to be a little bit more weary about, but because of how light this bag is, I doubt that I'm going to wear this with lots of dark colors. Part of the con of color transfer, I don't think it would be too big of a deal. I think baby wipes would be safe enough to use on this and then a little damp cloth to wipe off all the excess so you're not leaving any like chemicals or any other product on it for a long time. The last con that I really have for this bag is that because it fits so much, you can actually end up overfilling it and when you are wearing it crossbody, it could dig into your shoulder. I did have a little problem with that because I did stuff my bag a lot because I was going out to a garden. I had to pack my hand sanitizers, my wipes, my portable charger, and it just got pretty heavy. So I guess my tip for that con is just to watch how much you're putting in here because you can fit a lot. So moving on to the tips I have on this bag, these are actually tips that were left in my comments section or I was also watching somebody else's unboxing and they mentioned this. The first one is that when you are putting on the crossbody bag, you should put it on like this so that when you are using it and it lifts up, it kind of clears it and nothing is hitting it. But if you do it the other way, so I'm gonna turn it this way, the nub here, will actually end up hitting the top flap and the lining of the bag. It is definitely recommended that when you are hooking it on, make sure you do it kind of downwards. The second tip is when you are using the front pocket, which is right behind the lock nub thing. If you overstuff it, it will stretch this leather here and it kind of won't retract. I haven't had that problem yet, but I do know that when I put something here that isn't flat, you kind of can see the little bumps on it. So I definitely would just take the precaution and not overstuff it. You do have a giant space here and you can put other flat objects in the back. So now I'm gonna show you guys what fits inside the Coach Casey bag. I like to bring my portable charger with me all the time, so I'm gonna put that in the back here because it works best when you have a flat object sitting at the back so it's not poking you when you're walking and you're using it crossbody. Then I have wet wipes because during this time it's COVID, so I'm almost gonna always carry one with me. Now this one is almost finished, but I do have ones that are about this thick. So this one I keep in the front of the flap here, and that is because if you do put things that aren't flat necessarily in this flap, it will show when you're walking, you'll see bumps on here and it will stretch the leather. So only put flat stuff at the front here. So then I have my Chanel card holder and I put that in the dust bag. If you did watch my review video on this, you will know why. And I'm gonna put that in the general area. And then now I have my six key holder, which I'm gonna put next to my Chanel wallet. And then I do have this mini pochette and I carry my miscellaneous things, but this won't fit in here that well, but I could wedge it through if I wanted to vertically. So behind the six key holder right there. So that actually fits, but I will just show you guys without this. I have hand sanitizer, lip balm, and lotion. I'll put this aside and I will put it in the flap here. I have my portable charger wire. I don't really have an organizer for this, so I always wrap it up. And I will place it also in this spot so it's easier for me to get. And of course, same thing with my headphones. I don't really have an organizer for it either and I don't have AirPods. I am still using these ones. And I'll put that in the back so it's not tangled with anything else. So now it's pretty full and I don't have room for a sunglass case. So I'm gonna take it out and just put my sunglasses and that's going to be putting it at the top like that. So it'll just sit perfectly. Or you could also put it vertically like that and it's very snug right there. So I will leave it there because I do have a makeup bag. If you do watch my other review videos, you'll know that I always carry kind of like a makeup bag, especially if I'm going out and I wear lashes. I like to just toss them in here when I'm done at the end of the day so I can go home comfortably or if something is wrong, I can touch up. Eyeliner for the eyelashes if there's anything that goes wrong and a small bottle of perfume. So this bag won't fit in here so I'm just gonna try to see if I can fit everything.
This one is a little bit tough, but because I put my sunglasses there, I think I can just lay it on top here. Maybe not, so you know what? I'm gonna have to take out my sunglasses and kind of swap it. Here, put my perfume and then put my sunglasses on top. So actually that works better. And like I said, if you watch the pro and the con part that you can fit a lot. So now my bag is pretty heavy. So if you don't need anything like important, I wouldn't suggest stuffing it in because now if I put this crossbody, it is quite heavy, especially if I'm just using the top handle now. I probably would get tired of holding it if I'm walking around with this weight. I would definitely not carry uh, my miscellaneous things if I don't need to, just because I don't need that weight if I'm just running a quick errand. And I always carry a water bottle with me when I go out, but unfortunately this bag does not fit it at all. So keep in mind if you are a person that likes to carry water bottles with you and stay hydrated, it's something that you're gonna have to hand carry. So I'm just gonna quickly take out everything just so you can see as a spread of what I actually fit in this bag. So these are all the things that I can fit in the Coach Casey bag. Now, this six key holder can actually fit inside the mini pochette if you don't want to put this stuff inside. But for sure, all of these items can fit perfectly comfortably in the Coach Casey bag. And like I said, the water bottle is not something that fits, so that will be something you have to carry in your hand unless you carry a separate recycling bag. With this bag, I find that it is something that is so easy for me to reach for. I really do advise you to get the black or white one specifically the black one if you're only looking to get one bag. In my opinion, the black one looks very luxurious. It's because you don't see the piping in anything and it has gold hardware, so it definitely kind of looks a little bit more higher end rather than the different color ones. Of course, if you do have your favorite color, like how mine is pink, I did gravitate towards this one a lot more. Also because it was on sale, so make sure you guys check the website and kind of eyeball it before you guys make the purchase in case you can save on getting this bag. So that is it for this review video on the Coach Casey bag. I hope this helped you guys. This isn't even a new bag and I'm sure there are tons of it on YouTube, but I have the pink one specifically, so I thought it would be really nice to do a review video on this one for those of you who are looking for the pink one. So my main notes is to just watch for color transfer and the wear and tear on the corners. Now, I personally haven't had any issues with color transfer, as I have said. So if you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next video.